Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Hitesh and I'm back with another tutorial. In this video, we are going to create this bathroom scene in Maya. So let's start with the modeling and uh, I'm going to start with this uh, wooden slab. And for that, I'm going to take a cube. And I'm going to change the parameters like this. So we are not going to model the entire bathroom. We are just recreating this scene. So we are going to model only what we can see in the camera. And for that, what you can do here is I'll take a cube for the wall. I'm going to go to top view. Place this cube here and uh, Make it a little thinner like this. And now I'm going to scale this in the y axis to create a wall. Now I'm going to go to create, go to camera, take this camera, go to panel and look through selected. Now we are going to set our camera. So I'm going to Place my camera like this and I'm going to lock this for now and this much is going to be visible in our final render so I'm going to scale this wall also this slab and now we can work in perspective mode So for the slab, I'm going to go to edge mode, select everything and I'm going to bevel this. As you can see, the corners are a little bit soft in our reference. And by the way, you can get this reference in my discord server. Link is in the description. Now I'm going to create this sink or the basin and for that i'm going to take a cylinder increase the radius pull it up turn down the height a little bit I'm going to select the face on the top to create this hollow part and add a little bit of offset then pull this down and again add a bit of offset to create the feel of the drainage hole You can also model it if you want, but I think I'm going to leave it like this since it's not going to be visible in our camera setup. And uh, for the corners, I'm going to select them, bevel, and add a segment like this. I'm going to isolate this and also select these edges so i think this looks good enough You can also convert them to port, but since this is just going to be a showcase render, I'm not going to go 
do all that work but if you are worried about the triangles then you can surely just select the alternate edge and delete them let's go to the front view one more time and make sure this basin is perfectly aligned i think this looks good enough and i'm going to move this to the left a little now let's create a pipe so for the pipe what i'm going to do here is i'm going to just select these faces so that we have the exact measurements so let's duplicate these faces and uh, modify center pivot extrude this part pull this down and i'm going to go to mesh display and reverse the normals go to vertex mode select these vertices bring them under this slab you can also select the top faces and delete so this much should be fine you can also modify center pivot make it a little bit smaller like this then scale go to front view and place them here You can also remove the faces down here. Now let's model this support and for the support I'm going to take another cube. Bring this down here. bring the vertices down a little i'm going to add a loop here like this select the face let's scale this down first then select the face and extrude i'm going to isolate this and then bevel all the edges to make the corners a bit softer go to right view and place this on the wall going to change the camera a little bit so that we can see the support also i'm going to go to attribute editor select my camera and change the focal length to something like this So this much should be enough. I'm going to select the vertices, pull these down. Also bring these ones. Let's make this wider a little bit. I think this should be good enough. Now let's model the taps. And for that, I'm going to take another cylinder. 
rotate this and I'm going to turn down the radius Go to top view and I'm going to select this slab vertices and place them here like this. Select the wall and place the wall on the back of this slab. Bring this out. Let's select the front faces, extrude like this. I'm going to extrude one more time and rotate. Like this. You can also use edit edge flow to maintain the flow of these edges and create a perfect curve. And I think this much should be enough. I'm going to select these faces, make this part a little bigger. Then isolate this, select these faces, add a bit of offset and again include this part I'm going to delete this face I'm going to bevel these edges with a segment same thing for this end Now model this part, so we have this last equipment left, so I'm going to take another cylinder here and I'm going to match the same radius as this one. And I'm going to place this here. Like the vertices, push them back. Check the faces on the front and I'm going to extrude them then scale this down then one more time extrude and add an offset and one last time I'm going to create the shape of this handle And uh, I'm going to select this edge and split it. Then add few segments like this. 
and I'm going to select the four faces here. Add a bit of offset. Go to edit mesh and secularize. And I'm going to extrude this part. Let's isolate it and uh, start adding the bevel on the corners. You can rotate this a little bit to match the reference. Maybe select these, change the selection mode to object and extrude a little bit like this. And our scene is done. Let's go to panel and camera and that's how it looks.